Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and good morning to you. Here I am just getting some coffee um, while I am going to start making the um, dinner for this evening and I've got to get ready for work and all that good stuff. Um, so this is a really nice working mama meal um, that, like I said, I made before I went to work. Um, or you could also even pre-prep this the night before and stick it in the fridge and you're ready to go in the morning. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to chop up my veggies and it, the recipe calls for five to six yellow potatoes. Um, but however, I just did the bag of the small potatoes, which work just fine. And I just kind of cut them either in half or um, in thirds, depending on how big they were. And the other thing that you need is two carrots. Um, and these are all just going to kind of be rough chopped. Now, I will say that um, before I tried this recipe, I thought it was really odd that it had potatoes and carrots in it. Um, because I didn't want it to turn out like a stew. You know, it's cheeseburger soup. So, um, but it actually ended up, the, even the kids really liked it. And they liked the veggies in it because it's so cheesy that it really covers the... I guess the vegetable flavor um, and it just actually goes really really well in it so I know any of you out there questioning it right now I promise you just ride with me because it actually turns out really good and even my picky eaters um, gave it a shot on eating that all right so I've got all these in the crock pot I actually put my seasonings in um, on accident before I started filming um, but we're just gonna throw in some Italian seasoning I'm doing a uh, magical not nothing coming out shake just to show you all <laughs> um, and then we're gonna put in some salt and some pepper as well uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this entire container 32 ounces of this beef broth um, and I promise you like I said just hang with me for this recipe because it kind of seems like a weird weird mix of items, but they all end up blending beautifully and everything tastes amazing. Um, so if you're doing this the night before or even the morning of, I get ready. I started this like really early before I got ready. So I went ahead and stuck it in the fridge, um, just for a few minutes, um, while I was getting ready. But like I said, you could do this the night before, stick it in the fridge and you're good to go in the morning. You can just throw it in. What buddy? Okay, so I just got home and um, we had, mommy, mommy, what baby, help you, you need your boots off? Um, so we just got home, I got off work and we had parent-teacher conferences at school tonight, so we went, did that, there we go, um, and then we're going to get this dinner on quick, fast, and a hurry so that we can eat because we're hungry. All right, so after those veggies and the broth and everything's done cooking, we're going to take a pound of ground beef. Obviously, you can add more or less um, just based on how much meat you like in your soups. Um, I thought this was pretty sufficient for a family of five, and we had leftovers. Um, so I just take it, break it up, and we're going to start cooking this up. I like to add just kind of your general seasonings that you would add to your meat, maybe some salt, pepper, garlic powder onion powder um this part you know i don't get too particular i just kind of sprinkle some on and roll it just gives that meat a little extra flavor while it's cooking um before we go in and add it to our soup i believe i'm standing here having a conversation with one of the kids <laughs> right now <laughs> hence why nothing is happening in this video um but so once we get this cooked up uh we're gonna go ahead and just throw it right in our soup and go ahead and uh let that sit for a little bit while we get the rest of our ingredients ready. All right, so now we need to kind of thicken our soup up here because really the base word is just that beef broth, which is pretty thin. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and throw some butter into our ground beef pan that we've already used so we don't have dirty more dishes. Yes. And we're just going to let this melt um, just kind of on medium, medium high. You don't want to burn your butter. Um, just want to kind of get it melting. And honestly, I think I had mine a little high, um, but I was trying to hurry up and get this rolling because kids were hungry. I was starving um, and it was time to eat. So like I said, we're going to let this melt up and then we're going to go ahead and get our flour in there um, and give it a good whisk. We're going to add our milk here as well. Like I said, I would have turned this down a little bit because mine ended up um, just kind of tumbling together. <laughs> um, but it actually worked out just fine uh, once I threw it in the soup. 
so don't be turned off by this. Um, but obviously, if you don't have it that high, um, you can add a little bit more milk and just kind of make it to what you need to be. But once I, ha, huh, here I am adding a little bit more milk. Um, but once uh, we went ahead and got this mixed up and got it in the soup, um, it worked out just fine. It thickened everything up. There were no chunks of this left um, because as soon as it got in there, it just totally disintegrated. So don't get turned off by um, how that looks because I promise it turned out fine. All right, so just to show you guys uh, that it did all blend in really well, I'm just giving it a good stir here um, just to make sure that that all adequately uh, blends with the soup. And then we're gonna let the um, lid on and rest this uh, while we go ahead and get our next piece of the puzzle together. Once again, I apologize for the lighting. At some point, y'all, I am going to invest in some lights. I just can't commit right now. <laughs> um, A, because I don't know exactly what kind of lighting I would like. Uh, B, I was kind of hoping to wait because once we get in the new house, our lighting may not be so um, drastically dark, but I don't know. I might just have to go ahead and, and take the plunge. Um, so anyways, what we're doing here right now, we're going to do a little bit of Velveeta cheese. This is actually, we're going to use the entire block. Um, and you can use the off brand, the Great Value, and uh, or any other brand that you like. Those, they all work just fine. Now it's time to mix and serve. What do you think you're doing? No. That is so dramatic. No, you have to get down. You can stand up here with me, but you can't get up on the counter. Daniel. No counter. Daniel. Nope, you can't hang up there, monkey. You have to sit, stand up on your chair. <laughs> are you monkey? Yeah. You are. Do you love? really stinking good. Um, we literally, DJ went and got seconds, and I got seconds, and even Colt liked it, and veggies and all. And now, what I would recommend is maybe cutting up the potatoes just a smidge smaller than I did. I mean, we just cut them in the bowl, so that was fine. Um, but they would probably be better, just like a little bit more bite sized. And then um, DJ's suggestion was actually to add bacon to it, which I think would be really, really good. Um, I'm not a bacon person, not my, not my cup of tea, um, but if you are a bacon person, this would be like super good with, it would be like bacon cheeseburgers. Yeah, it's very creative of me, I know. Um, but it was super, super good, so, and it was really easy to do um, while, you know, working all day, and we still had the parent-teacher conferences after, and we still had a really, really nice dinner on the table when we got home. I don't know what's going on with my, my mascara is probably running down my face as well because I got something in my eye and I just need to go take my makeup off. Um, it is end of the night after dinner, time to get everything cleaned up and get everybody ready for bed. I am exhausted um, and time to do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, if you did like this, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're gonna try it, let me know in the comments below um, and let me know how it turns out because it was really, really good. Um, and this is gonna go into my safe book, actually. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.